Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing how to make a simple Streamlit app that's going to look at soccer performance and we're going to grab that data from a Google Sheet. So in other words, we're going to provide a web interface for some soccer performance stats that are being tracked in a Google Sheet. And this is what the development stack looks like. The data storage is a Google Sheet and the web application is going to be in Streamlit. So in terms of the app development, we're going to want to set up an app.py file along with a requirements.txt. In the app.py file, the main functionalities are going to be querying the Google Sheet for the data. And then we're going to want to display various tables with the top 10 players for goals, assists, and then also goals and assists per game. And for the requirements.txt, we're just going to want the streamlet and then the requests uh, packages to be updated for pip. All right, so I won't get into the nitty gritty of everything in terms of the Streamlit application. There are comments in the code for the app.py, but in general, it's basically two files, requirements.txt. So those are the dependencies that you're gonna need for your application. And our big dependencies are pandas, requests, and Streamlit. And then we'll also look at the app.py. Once again, you'll see I'm importing those. And we also have comments throughout here, let's say, Ports, Google Sheet, data, right? So all these are commented and you can look at them in the GitHub repo in the video description below. And, but in general, we set up a page config so that it has Jugga Bonito at tech with a little soccer icon as the title. It's also gonna be in the, uh, the favicon as well. Then we're gonna import some Google Sheet data. And in this case, we're using the request package that's up here and basically going to that location on Google Docs and just grabbing that data. We're gonna open it as a dataset.csv and then we're gonna read in that data set in pandas. There are other ways to do this, it's just a simple way. Um, and then we're gonna go to calculating the metrics. So basically just gonna make calculations on goals and assists and how many games people have played. Then we're gonna sort the data frame so it's nice and tidy to put into the web application. And so below is the web application. We're gonna set up two columns, then we're gonna have the two columns basically show different metrics. So in column one, we're gonna have assists per game and uh, goals per game, so that you'll see here. And the other functionality here is that if uh, a checkbox that I determine here is selected, what's gonna happen is that will basically trigger either showing the top 10 players or all the players. By default, I'm just gonna show the top 10 because it's gonna be really messy if I try to show 40 or 50 people on a screen for four different tables. So after that, we're gonna show a little video that this app is actually named after. But that's the general overview. And once again, there are comments within the code for you to look at. Now that we have all the app code written, we're gonna to wanna to deploy it and the first step in that is going to be setting up a GitHub repo. So you can either put your own code into a GitHub repo or you can get started just by forking this repo that I have. That's also down in the video description of jogobonito.tech. And what you can do is fork it and it'll basically go into your own personal profile in GitHub as your own code. And from there, we're gonna to wanna to go into Streamlit Cloud and deploy the application. And this is fairly easy. You're just gonna to wanna to authorize your GitHub and then make a new app and deploy it. And it's gonna be linked to that GitHub repo. I'll go over any small changes that you might have to make. So the first thing is to make sure that you have your own GitHub repo or feel free to fork this repo. To fork a repo, just go over here to the top right and create a new fork. And then it'll be existing in your repository but make sure that you have an app.py a, and a requirements.txt. Now that we have that set up, make sure that you have your GitHub repo linked to your Streamlit account. So that looks like this, logged in as Matt Majestic. And from here, we can start a new app or create new app. We'll go to jogobonito.tech. Then we're going to set it to app.py instead of Streamlit app and they're advanced settings, but we don't need those now. And then we'll deploy, and you'll get all these little icons that show the app uh, in the oven baking. All right, 
now that it's done baking, it will basically pop up the app for you. So you'll see we have jugabney.tech, analysis of player performance at Georgia Tech soccer games. Then we're gonna have goals per game, total goals, assists per game, total assists, the different little toggles to basically make sure that you can see all of the players in case you're not in the top 10, you'd still be able to see your metrics and then a little iframe video of what this site is actually named after. So another little trick at the end is that you can go over to all the Streamlit apps that you have and go into settings and you can change the app URL. So in my case, I changed it to something a little bit more uh, accessible to people. So uh, that's just one little tip. Uh, there's also different things like you can set up API keys and secrets as well. But yeah, in general, really cool app. And some other things for Streamlit are that it'll basically link to the GitHub repo. So it's all in one spot. It's really concise in terms of deployment instead of going through a large cloud provider, or any of that good stuff. So yeah, highly recommend it and a really good way to get started with the uh, initial projects.